Welcome to Linksa YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I am your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video we will talk about configuring Docker containers using Ansible playbooks. But before start the lab session we need to understand few points which is what is the need of configuring Docker container using Ansible. Even this is a very rare use case where we need to configure the container using Ansible. Enabling SSH inside the container is not a good practice but in some case we might need to do this. Like first case could be where I want to set up an Ansible practical lab where I can use multiple hosts of different Linux instantly without wasting more resources. This gives me the power to launch each time fresh container and test my playbook on multiple OS distribution with different version. One more use case will be uh, you have one server in deployment and you are deploying many microservices with the multiple teams and then you can deploy microservices using container and give SSH access direct to the containers to team for troubleshooting and instead of giving direct access to the server right so these are the cases where we can use this types of scenario so let's uh, start the lab session and we'll see how we can configure docker container using ansible here you can see this is my vimware workstation and currently i have two linux vm this is linux server and this is linux client so let me go one by one on both vm and show you the os release version the ip address so first of all start with this one so host name ctl currently you can see the machine name is surround.example.com and i'm using rel 9.3 here and if we talk about the ip address ens160 ip is 192.168.0.128 uh, 116.128 right so and and here i have already installed ansible in this vm so if i go ansible hyphen hyphen version so you can see ansible core is there 2.14.9 right so in this demo i will use this vm as ansible controller node let's move to the second vm so let me log in on the root account and uh, host name ctl the machine name is station1.example.com and if we talk about the ip address ip is 192.168.116.129 this is the client this also in this less this demo i will use this machine as a manage node right so directly so before directly jump on the container part i have already configured already uh, pre-configured the ansible setup let me go to my ansible project directory here i have the ansible configuration file and this is my inventory where i have only one entry which is 192.168.11129 right so let me check the reachability first of all using ansible command ansible hyphen nine ping all so yeah you can see i got the ping pong response right now move to the first step which is write the ansible playbook to install docker engine currently i don't have any playbook here right to perform this task i will use docker official documentation so i'll go to the google and say docker installation on on rhel 9 so i'll go with the first url and if i scroll down here you can see installation method and methods are given how to set up the repository right so here you can see the steps are clearly mentioned how to set up docker repository and then how to install docker engine and then how to start the docker services right so first of all what we need to do we need to install uh gem utils package then we have to add the docker repository from available url this url we need to add it and then we need to install docker engine using yum packages and go with these come these packages i needed to install and then finally we need to start the docker services using system ctl command line tool so to perform all those tasks we are i'm going to back on my controller node and write a playbook right so i'm here i'm back here and let me write down the uh docker um, docker underscore repo dot yaml file okay now uh, for time saving purpose i have already write down the entire code in the form of playbook and and currently it is in my notepad so let me copy from here and then i'll to explain all these entries so let me copy and paste it here so this is the playbook now let me explain so here you can see the name of the play is play one currently i want to execute in all manage nodes so that the reason i use all 
the first task is configure the demo repository so i want to run multiple command that the reason i use shell module with pipe so first is basically install yum utils package and second it will configure the repository download docker.com linux rhel docker c dot repo then in the second task i'm going to install the docker so for that one i use command module and i just copy the same command whatever the command is mentioned inside the uh, documentation here i just copy right and the last i use service module to start and enable the docker services so i just say name docker is just started and enable yes so just save and quit now uh, let's check the syntax error and then finally deploy this playbook so i'll go with ansible playbook hyphen hyphen syntax check docker repo.yml see it's okay now no error found let's deploy so i'll go with ansible playbook and docker hyphen repo.yml so you can see play play one gathering facts and configure the docker repository first task it's changed that means done now install docker so installation begin and it will take some time so let it be complete and everything is complete then we will check that uh, docker is successfully installed or not on managed host again from ansible server so just wait a couple of minutes let it be installed Soon it will be finished. done you can see change okay now move to the last part start enable docker confirm so now you can see deployment done let's check the stored docker version from the managed host uh, we can go with ansible hyphen a docker hyphen hyphen version and all so you can see docker is successfully installed here yeah it is there version 272.0 even you can go on the client and you can run it manually over there also right but no needed i can manage from here so docker is successfully installed next move to the next step which is install docker module in controller node ansible provides server module for managing docker containers and images such as docker underscore container docker underscore image docker underscore network these module allow you to perform various tasks such as creating starting stopping removing containers building managing images and and docker networks but by default in rel 9 we don't have those module available with ansible built-in collection right so first of all we need to install those module so for install those module we need to go ansible documentation so let me show you the documentation path this is the documentation path i'll go here on the new tab and i drop it here docs.ansible.com slash ansible latest collection community docker and docker underscore plugin underscore module dot html so here you can see the docker plugin the module is the part of community dot docker dot collection and we if you want to install it we need to go with this command ansible underscore galaxy collection install community dot docker right so i need to go i need to copy this one and once it's installed successfully i can check it using ansible galaxy collection list command so i'll copy and i'll paste it here okay see process started Okay, download and start. Installing, install successfully. Yeah, 
So installation done. Now we can check the Ansible Galaxy com collection list command to verify the installation, right? So I go with the Ansible Galaxy collection list and I can see it is there. Yeah, it is in root dot Ansible collection, Ansible collection and community dot Docker is available, right? So now we can, uh, it's, uh, we have successfully installed and we can read the documentation about this module using Ansible doc command. So I can go Ansible doc command and use docker underscore container press enter now you can see the documentation here is there we can go on the help and we can write a number of playbooks as per our own needed right now move to the final step which is write a playbook to deploy docker container on managed host so for that for this demo i'm sharing a very simple playbook which uh, where i where i will launch one apache container with my custom web contained right so let me write down the name container.yaml and this is the my yaml file okay let me write down here oh sorry i paused give me one second What happened? Let me check. One second, guys. Okay, I'm back. Now it's not copy. Let me copy one more time. Yeah, it's there. Now, time to expand. So here you can see this is the play one again i want to execute in all managed host uh, i am going to write down first task which is create a folder and copying the html file so i'm using ansible.built-in file module it will create a one uh, directory on manage host in slash my doc then i want to copy my web file so i'm using ansible.built-in.copy module source is my location this is index.html and destination is on manage host slash my doc then I go with the third task which is creating container using SDPD image. So for that one I use community.docker.docker container module which few minutes ago I have installed. The name of my container is web server. Image is pulling from hub.docker.com. State should be started and export port 80 is a container port and 8080 is my uh, Docker host port. And I want to go with the amount the volume. So whatever inside in my doc that is on the manage host docker host it will be available on docker container usr local apache 2 st docs right so let me save and quit so my playbook is ready but before going to deploy we need to create an index.html file so i just make a simple file hi this is my demo web server okay and just make a simple index.html file cool now finally deploy so Ansible playbook container.yaml So play started, drag together, creating folder, copying web files, okay, both are done. Now creating container using SCTPD image. It will take some time because it will copy the uh, Apache images from Docker Hub. It will pull the image from Docker Hub and then it will launch the container, right? So just give me a one minute. Let it be complete. Then we will check the container status. Yeah, done. Now let's check the container status. So Ansible hyphen A. I can say Docker PS all. Right. Let me check the container status. See, it is in the container name is web server. It is working on 8080 on docker host and it is running very good now uh, final check let's check hit the web url so i can hit the url 192.168.116.129 docker host machine call in the port number 8080 this is the port right so if i try to hit on this manage host on this port i should get response from my container port number 80 which is my uh, custom web page right yeah hi this is my demo web server so you can see I'm getting the response from my container, which is 
which is available on managed node right so guys this is how you can use docker container module and deploy the playbooks on docker host so finally that's all about this demo hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things soon i will come up with another new interesting topic till then keep practicing if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to know more something else please reach out to my social media links which is mentioned in the description and if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye